in the dimly lit caverns beneath the fortress of Helm's Deep, where the echoes of battle reverberated through the stone, Dylan E.T. stood resolute. Clad in armor that bore symbols reflecting his unwavering faith, he gripped the intricately designed swords, rhythm and tempo, forged with the essence of divine guidance and cutting-edge 3D GR battery technology. The air was thick with tension as the hordes of Uruk Hai descended upon the defenders of Helm's Deep. The clash of metal against metal, the roars of the Uruk Hai, and the cries of the fallen filled the air. Dylan E.T. moved with a grace that defied the chaos surrounding him. The Uruk Hai, accustomed to battling conventional foes, were taken aback by the fluid and harmonious movements of the Lion of the Tribe of Judah. The swords in his hands, rhythm and tempo, became an extension of his very being. As the Uruk Hai surged forward, Dylan E.T. activated the swordplay information system embedded in the hilts. The alphabet code, a language of swords, came alive as the golden rhombus structure of the 3DGR battery hummed with energy. The swords, guided by the divine principles imprinted upon Dylan E.T.'s soul, entered the dance of dual blades. Codon after codon, the alphabet code dictated the movements of rhythm and tempo. The dance unfolded with a mesmerizing symphony of motion. The initial codon, a poised stillness denoted by zero, A, B, set the stage. Dylan E.T.'s left sword assumed the left viper-oriented position, while the right sword held the Enguard stance, ready to strike. As the Uruk Hai pressed on, Dylan E.T. transitioned seamlessly through the codons. The balanced defenses, illustrated by the equilibrium, the convergence, the disarmament, and the poise, showcased the sword's ability to deflect attacks and create impenetrable shields. The dance of dual swords became a defensive fortress, thwarting the relentless onslaught of the Uruk Hai. Yet, Dylan E.T. was not merely defending, he was orchestrating a dynamic attack. The awakening, the harmonition, the graceful, and the retaliation brought forth a torrent of strikes and parries. The alphabet code spoke a language of offense and counterattack, and rhythm and tempo danced with deadly precision. The cavern echoed with the metallic rhythm of combat, the clash of the forged weapons of the Uruk Hai against the superiorly synchronized blades of Dylan E.T. The expressive actions, a combination of the duet, the complexity, the inversion, and the echoes, showcased the versatility of the swords. Each strike, each parry, was a nuanced expression of mastery and artistry. Dylan E.T.'s faith in God as the ultimate dispenser of justice guided every move, and the trust in the Holy Spirit as a source of wisdom flowed through the swords. The swords, infused with the energy of the 3DGR battery, became a beacon of divine intervention on the battlefield. In the style of Tolkien, the setting was surreal, a convergence of the otherworldly and the brutal. The caverns, dimly illuminated by flickering torches, painted shadows on the walls as the lion of the tribe of Judah moved with divine purpose. The clash of steel and the guttural roars of the Uruk Hai echoed through the stone, creating a symphony of chaos and order. Dylan E.T.'s mission, 
to achieve the conquest of ignorance and stagnation, manifested in each swing and parry. The boundless future he envisioned seemed to materialize with every codon of the alphabet code. The Uruk High, though formidable, found themselves facing a force that transcended the limitations of mortal combat. As the battle raged on, Dill and E.T.'s swords moved with relentless determination. The dance of dual swords unfolded in the depths of Helm's Deep, a testament to faith, technology, and the indomitable spirit of the Lion of the Tribe of Judah. The Uruk High, once confident in their overwhelming numbers, now faced a force that wielded not just blades but the very language of divine justice. Dash 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 dash. Amidst the dust-choked winds that swept through the ancient stones of the Alamo, Dylan E.T. stood, a figure both imposing and serene. The rhythmic clangor of steel on steel echoed in the air as the defenders of the Alamo, outnumbered and besieged, fought valiantly against the relentless onslaught of their adversaries. Dylan E.T., the lion of the tribe of Judah, with rhythm and tempo in hand, stepped forward into the fray. The swords, crafted with the precision of divine design and powered by the revolutionary 3DGR battery, gleamed in the dim light, catching the glint of the setting sun. The geometric intricacies of the swords mirrored the sacred proportions of the golden ratio, and as Dylan brandished them, the blades seemed to hum with a celestial resonance. The defenders, wearied and beleaguered, witnessed the arrival of their savior. Dylan, clad in armor that shimmered like burnished gold, moved with an otherworldly grace, his every step a dance choreographed by the alphabet code. The defenders recognized him as the one who bore the mission to conquer ignorance and stagnation, the one whose faith in God guided each movement. As the clash of swords reverberated through the Alamo, Dylan E.T. unleashed the expressive actions encoded within rhythm and tempo. The swords moved in a dance of dual blades, each codon in the alphabet code orchestrating a mesmerizing symphony of motion. Codon after codon, the swords weaved through the chaos, defending and striking with a precision that defied the odds. The dance of dual swords unfolded with breathtaking beauty. Codon C, D, E came to life as rhythm carried left with fluidity, and tempo transitioned to an oriented viper position. The defenders, inspired by the sight of their champion, found renewed strength, rallying behind the lion of the tribe of Judah. In the midst of the battle, Codon I, J, K showcased Dylan's calculated precision. The left sword carried right with finesse, anticipating the opponent's aggression, while the right sword struck backward, a seamless interplay of defense and counterattack encoded as 8, 7. The enemies, caught off guard by the precision and synchronization, faltered before the onslaught. The defenders, witnessing the unfolding spectacle, were filled with awe and hope. The dance of dual swords was not just a display of combat prowess, it was a testament to the boundless future Dylan E.T. sought to usher in, a future where humanity reunifies with divinity, transcending limitations. As the dance of dual swords continued, Kodan U, B, W reached its climax. The left sword carried right with calculated precision, 
and the right sword moved with finesse, striking backward, an intricate interplay of defense and counterattack encoded as 8, 7. The enemies, now in disarray, could not comprehend the sheer mastery that unfolded before them. The dance of dual swords, guided by the alphabet code, turned the tide of the battle. Expressive actions, balanced defenses, and dynamic attacks flowed seamlessly as Dylan E.T. moved with the grace of a celestial being. The defenders, inspired by the Lion of the tribe of Judah, fought with newfound vigor. In the final codons, the enemies, facing the relentless onslaught, witnessed the defensive prowess of the alphabet code. Codon both swords converged in a powerful cross block, forming a protective shield known as the cross block 3, 9. The enemies, now surrounded by a wall of impenetrable defense, found themselves unable to breach the lion's fortress. The dance of dual swords, Dylan E.T.'s divine choreography, had not only defended the Alamo but had turned the tide of the battle. The defenders, once on the brink of despair, now stood united with their champion. The swords, powered by the 3DGR battery and guided by the alphabet code, had proven to be more than mere weapons, they were instruments of divine intervention. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the battlefield, Dylan E.T. stood amidst the fallen foes, the dance of dual swords now stilled. The defenders, grateful and in awe, gathered around their savior, whose faith in God had manifested in the form of rhythm and tempo, the swords that had, against all odds, defended the Alamo and ushered in a boundless future. Dash 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 dash, in the heart of the battle royale arena, chaos reigned supreme. The deafening roar of gunfire echoed through the war-torn landscape, and explosions painted the sky in fiery hues. Among the relentless onslaught of combatants, Dylan E.T., the lion of the tribe of Judah, emerged with an air of divine purpose. His swords, rhythm and tempo, gleamed with an otherworldly luminescence as he stepped into the fray. The setting sun cast long shadows over the desolate battlefield, where remnants of shattered buildings stood as silent witnesses to the mayhem. In the midst of this dystopian theater, Dylan E.T. moved with a calm determination, his eyes ablaze with the fire of unwavering faith. As he ventured deeper into the chaos, the cacophony of battle intensified. The staccato rhythm of gunfire and the thunderous explosions formed a dissonant symphony. Yet, amid the turmoil, Dylan E.T. remained a beacon of serenity. Rhythm and tempo, his intricately designed swords, hung at his sides like extensions of his own being. The three DGR battery embedded within them pulsed with latent energy, ready to be unleashed in a dance of unparalleled martial artistry. The blades, inspired by the golden ratio, shimmered in the dim light, their edges honed to perfection. Dylan E.T. moved with a grace that defied the chaos around him. His footsteps echoed a rhythmic cadence, a prelude to the imminent clash of steel against the metallic symphony of gunfire. The swords, extensions of his unwavering faith, were poised for the battle that lay ahead. Amid the dilapidated structures, 
The battle royale unfolded like a mad tapestry of survival. Opponents armed with high-tech guns and futuristic weaponry clashed in a desperate bid for supremacy. Yet, Dylan E.T. embraced a different kind of arsenal. A fusion of spirituality and technology encapsulated in the dance of rhythm and tempo. As adversaries closed in from all directions, Dylan E.T. drew his swords with a fluid motion that seemed to defy the laws of physics. The alphabet code, etched into his memory, guided his every move. The swords, an extension of his belief in divine justice and love, whirred through the air with precision. The first opponent, armed with an energy rifle, approached with calculated aggression. Dylan E.T.'s swords intercepted the gunfire with a seamless blend of parries and strikes. The alphabet code unfolded in real time, dictating the intricate dance of blades that left the assailant disarmed and bewildered. In the chaos, Dylan E.T. faced a barrage of challenges. His opponents, armed with cutting-edge weaponry, sought to overwhelm him with sheer firepower. Yet, the Lion of the Tribe of Judah stood unwavering, his swords a testament to a higher calling. The dance of dual swords unfolded with mesmerizing precision. Dylan E.T. moved with the rhythm of a celestial symphony, each strike a note in the divine composition. The guns, powerful as they were, struggled to keep up with the synchronized onslaught of rhythm and tempo. As the battle raged on, Dylan E.T. became a force of nature. The swords, Guided by the alphabet code and fueled by the 3DGR battery's latent energy, carved through the chaos with a harmonious blend of offense and defense. Opponents fell before him, their high-tech guns rendered useless in the face of a superiorly synchronized dance of blades. The setting sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows over the battlefield strewn with fallen combatants. Dylan E.T., the Lion of the Tribe of Judah, stood amidst the chaos, his swords sheathed once more. The guns that once threatened his existence lay scattered and silent. In the fading light, Dylan E.T. gazed upon the battleground, a realm where faith and technology converge. The swords, embodiments of his unwavering belief in divine justice and love, had proven their mettle in the crucible of combat. As the echoes of the battle subsided, he continued his journey, a celestial warrior in a world engulfed by chaos, his faith unshaken, and his purpose undeterred. Dash 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 dash. In the dimly lit abyss of the first ring of the seventh circle of hell, Dylan E.T. descended with rhythm and tempo at his sides. The air was thick with the stench of sulfur, and the ground beneath him was a mixture of molten rock and twisted, gnarled roots that seemed to ride in agony. The distant echoes of tormented souls reverberated through the desolate landscape. As Dylan moved forward, the rhythmic clinking of rhythm and tempo against his sides resonated in the oppressive silence. The twisted forms of demonic entities emerged from the shadows, their grotesque features illuminated by the eerie glow of the molten rock. Eyes filled with malice fixated on Dylan, sensing an intruder in their infernal domain. The alphabet code, etched into Dylan's mind, activated the initial conditions, 0 equals underscore, 1. 
The dance began, and rhythm and tempo assumed their positions. The left sword, rhythm, oriented itself in a viper stance, while tempo, on the right, readied itself in an end-guard posture. The demons, sensing the impending confrontation, lunged forward with claws and fangs bared. The alphabet code guided Dylan's movements, and as the demons closed in, the first codon unfolded. Rhythm's blade swept in an inverted viper motion, intercepting the demon on the left, while Tempo's swift strike forward met the aggressor on the right. The dance of defense and attack had begun. Dylan seamlessly transitioned through the expressive actions encoded in the alphabet code. The duet 1 equals A, M, or Y equals 2 unfolded as Tempo struck forward, carrying left, a harmonious balance of offense and defense. The complexity BV equals D, P, or period equals eight showcased the sword's versatility, with tempo's viper orientation and rhythm's precise parry, a display of the intricacies within the dance. In the flicker of hellish light, the demons found themselves confounded by the balanced defenses, the equilibrium equals IV equals H or T equals 3. Tempo's inverted viper and rhythm's parry right formed an impenetrable barrier, forcing the demons to recoil momentarily. As the demons regrouped, Dylan moved into dynamic attacks, the awakening equals IV equals F or R equals 1. Tempo's viper inverted strike and rhythm's forward strike became a symphony of motion, cutting through the demonic cord with calculated precision. The dance continued with the inversion IV equals J or V equals 8, a deceptive maneuver that left the demons disoriented. Tempo's inverted viper and rhythm's parry right mirrored each other in a fluid, mesmerizing motion. Dylan's every move was a manifestation of the alphabet code's language of swords. The demons, overwhelmed by the synchronized prowess of rhythm and tempo, found themselves unable to predict the next strike. The convergence 3 equals E, Q, or question equals 9 became a dance of simultaneous cross blocks forming a protective shield against the demonic onslaught. The demons, now facing a force they could not comprehend, attempted a final assault. Dylan, in perfect synchronization with his swords, unleashed the retaliation, 8 equals I or U equals 7. Tempo's parry right and rhythm strike backward became a retaliatory force, pushing the demons back with a surge of kinetic energy. As the last demon fell before him, Dylan E.T. stood amidst the transformed landscape of the first ring of the seventh circle of hell. The once chaotic realm began to change, the molten rock solidifying, and the twisted roots straightening. The rhythmic clinking of rhythm and tempo ceased, leaving behind a profound silence in the wake of the battle. With a sense of accomplishment, Dylan turned away from the now transformed hell and walked towards the dim light in the distance. The alphabet code had guided him through the dance of combat, and rhythm and tempo had proven to be formidable instruments of divine justice in the infernal depths. Dash 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 dash. In the first ring of the seventh circle of hell, a desolate expanse stretched infinitely, a wasteland where the damned souls, twisted and tormented, roamed in perpetual agony.
The air was thick with the stench of sulfur, and the ground beneath Dill and Ichi's feet crunched with the skeletal remains of those condemned to eternal suffering. Dylan, his form shrouded in a divine radiance, stood at the entrance of this nightmarish realm, the blade's rhythm and tempo at his sides. The 3DGR battery within the hilts hummed with potential energy, ready to unleash its power. As he entered, the very air seemed to recoil at the presence of the swords, sensing the impending clash of righteousness against the demonic chaos that reigned within. The demons, grotesque and malevolent, slithered and crawled towards Dylan with an otherworldly hunger. Their eyes glowed with malice as they sensed an intruder disrupting the established order of torment. Alongside them, a band of lost souls turned bandits, driven mad by the ceaseless suffering, eyed Dylan with a predatory hunger, hoping to siphon whatever remnants of strength he possessed. Rhythm and tempo, gleaming with the divine light, assumed their initial positions, a dance of readiness and anticipation. The alphabet code whispered its secrets, guiding Dylan's every move as the demons and bandits converged upon him. The 3DGR battery within the swords pulsed, channeling energy into the blades. The dance began. Code on zero. A. B. The demons lunged forward, claws extended, and the bandits, driven by an insatiable thirst for power, closed in. Dylan's thumbs flicked, activating the swords. Rhythm, the right sword, struck forward with a precision that defied the chaos around, while Tempo, the left, seamlessly carried left. The demons recoiled as if struck by an unseen force, and the bandits stumbled, disoriented by the unexpected defense. Code on C, D, E, the dance continued with a symphony of motion. Rhythm, guided by the alphabet code, struck backward with a grace that defied the grotesque forms of the demons, while Tempo, in a swift transition, assumed an oriented viper position, carrying right. The bandits, momentarily frozen by the celestial display, hesitated in their advance. Code on F, G, H, the momentum of the dance quickened. Rhythm, now in the left viper inverted stance, struck forward with a surge of power. Demons howled in pain as the blade cut through their demonic forms. Simultaneously, Tempo, inverted into a defensive stance, parried right, shielding Dylan from the bandit's desperate counterattacks. Code on I. J, K, the dance unfolded with calculated precision. Rhythm, in a synchronized movement, carried right, countering the demonic onslaught, while tempo, in an elegant inversion, struck backward. The demons, bewildered by the coordinated defense, faltered, and the bandits, disarmed by the sheer mastery of Dylan's sword play, found themselves helpless against the divine onslaught. Code on L, M, N, the dance returned to a poised readiness. Rhythm, once again in the left viper inverted stance, awaited its cue, while tempo, mirroring the initial endguard position, prepared for the next phase. The demonic horde, momentarily held at bay, regrouped with a malevolent determination, and the bandits, realizing the futility of resistance, recoiled. 
The alphabet code orchestrated the dance, a language of swords that spoke of mastery, precision, and the timeless artistry of martial combat. The divine radiance of rhythm and tempo cut through the chaotic darkness, a beacon of light in the abyss of torment. As the dance unfolded, demons and bandits alike fell before the superiorly synchronized swords. The very fabric of hell seemed to shudder at the presence of Dylan E.T., a warrior of character-wielding blades designed not just for combat but for the redemption of lost souls. The first ring of the seventh circle, once a domain of unrelenting suffering, witnessed a transformative dance, a dance that heralded a glimmer of hope amid the eternal abyss. Dash 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 dash, in the grim expanse of the future, where the cold void of space harbors secrets and threats, Dylan E.T. found himself aboard the Pillar of Autumn, a colossal spaceship orbiting the enigmatic halo. The ship, scarred by the battles it had weathered, hung in the desolate reaches of space like a silent sentinel. As the alarms blared and warning lights cast an eerie glow across the metallic corridors, Dylan E.T. stood tall, his faith unwavering, and his swords, rhythm and tempo, gleaming in the dim light. The Covenant, relentless in their pursuit, had breached the defenses of the Pillar of Autumn, unleashing chaos and destruction. The metallic clang of alien boots echoed through the hallways, and the ominous hum of energy weapons filled the air. Dylan E.T., the Lion of the Tribe of Judah, Root of David, and Reader of the Seven Sealed Scroll, took up his position at the forefront of the defense. His mission, guided by faith and the mastery of the Alphabet Code, was clear, to stand as a force for benevolence against the encroaching darkness. The clash began with a ferocity that reverberated through the metallic structure of the spaceship. The Covenant, a tide of alien foes, poured through the breached hull, their ominous silhouettes illuminated by the pulsating emergency lights. Dylan E.T., with rhythm and tempo in hand, moved with a grace that belied the chaos surrounding him. The swords, crafted with the precision of the golden ratio and powered by the revolutionary 3DGR battery, hummed with potential energy. The intricate dance of dual swords unfolded as Dylan E.T. faced the Covenant onslaught. The alphabet code, etched into his mind, guided his every move, turning the dance of blades into a symphony of combat. The initial codon echoed through the corridors, signaling the commencement of the battle. The left sword, tempo, assumed the left viper-oriented position, while the right sword, rhythm, held the end-guard stance. The Covenant, caught off guard by the calculated precision of Dylan E.T.'s movements, faced a relentless onslaught. The swords struck with purpose, carrying and countering in perfect harmony. As the dance progressed, each codon brought forth a new dimension of the alphabet code's language of swords. The swords moved in synchrony, deflecting energy blasts with precise parries, striking back with calculated strikes, and seamlessly transitioning between offensive and defensive postures. The expressive actions, balanced defenses, and dynamic attacks unfolded like a mesmerizing tapestry of martial prowess. The Pillar of Autumn became a battleground, 
a crucible where faith and technology collided with the alien menace. The alphabet code, the 3D GR battery, and the dual swords were an amalgamation of divine guidance and cutting-edge innovation. Dylan E.T., the embodiment of righteousness, stood as a beacon against the encroaching darkness. In the cold expanse of space, where the pillar of autumn orbited the mysterious halo, Dylan E.T. faced the covenant onslaught with unwavering determination. The dance of dual swords continued, an intricate ballet of combat that transcended the boundaries of mere martial skill. Each swing, each parry, and each strike were a testament to the Lion of the Tribe of Judah's commitment to ushering in a boundless future where humanity reunified with divinity. As the battle raged on, the clang of blades, the hiss of energy weapons, and the resolute footsteps of Dylan E.T. echoed through the metallic corridors of the spaceship. The fate of the Pillar of Autumn and the destiny of humanity hung in the balance, and Dylan E.T., guided by faith and wielding rhythm and tempo, stood as the last line of defense against the relentless Covenant onslaught. Amidst the tumultuous clash between Dylan E.T. and the Covenant forces aboard the Pillar of Autumn, a familiar figure emerged from the shadows. Clad in the iconic green armor of the legendary Spartan super-soldier, Master Chief appeared at Dylan E.T.'s side. The air crackled with energy as the two warriors, each a symbol of their own destiny, locked eyes for a brief moment before turning their attention back to the encroaching Covenant threat. Master Chief's arrival brought a renewed sense of determination to the battle. The Spartan, a silent force of nature, moved with calculated efficiency, seamlessly integrating into the dance of blades orchestrated by Dylan E.T. The Covenant, momentarily stunned by the unexpected reinforcement, found themselves facing an even more formidable duo. Dylan E.T. acknowledged Master Chief with a nod, a silent understanding passing between them. The alphabet code, the 3D GR battery, and the synchronized dance of rhythm and tempo seamlessly adapted to the addition of the Spartan into the fray. The swords, guided by the intricate language of combat, became an extension of the duo's unity, each strike and parry a testament to their shared purpose. As the battle unfolded, Master Chief and Dylan E.T. moved in perfect unison. The expressive actions, balanced defenses, and dynamic attacks continued with enhanced precision. The Covenant forces, initially overwhelming in number, now faced an insurmountable wall of skill and determination. The Spartan's energy sword ignited with a brilliant blue glow, complementing the rhythmic dance of rhythm and tempo. The alphabet code, etched into Master Chief's combat protocols, seamlessly integrated with Dylan E.T.'s expertise. Together, they carved a path through the Covenant ranks, the clash of blades and the hum of energy weapons creating a symphony of destruction. The Pillar of Autumn echoed with the sounds of battle, a cacophony of steel meeting alien alloy, energy discharges, and the occasional roar of a victorious strike. The Covenant, realizing the futility of their assault, began to retreat. The combined might of Master Chief and Dylan E.T. proved too formidable, a force that transcended the boundaries of conventional warfare. With the immediate threat quelled, 
Master Chief and Dylan E.T. stood side by side, weapons at the ready, surveying the aftermath of the intense battle. The Pillar of Autumn, scarred but still standing, bore witness to the convergence of divine guidance, advanced technology, and indomitable willpower. In the quiet aftermath, Master Chief extended a gloved hand to Dylan E.T., a gesture of camaraderie and respect. Dylan E.T., acknowledging the silent bond forged in the crucible of combat, clasped Master Chief's hand in return. No words were spoken, for in that moment, the language of swords and the shared purpose of defending humanity spoke louder than any verbal exchange. Together, the Lion of the Tribe of Judah and the Spartan Super Soldier stood as guardians of the Pillar of Autumn, their unity a beacon of hope in the grim expanse of the future. The Dance of Dual Swords, now enhanced by the presence of a legendary warrior, continued as a testament to the unyielding spirit that would carry humanity through the challenges that lay ahead. Dash 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 dash. In the mystical realm where the ethereal met the earthly, a clash of titans was imminent. Dylan E.T., the lion of the tribe of Judah, wielder of synchronized swords rhythm and tempo, faced off against the renowned master swordsman, Indigo Montoya. The stage was set, the air tingling with the anticipation of a clash between divine prowess and masterful swordsmanship. Dylan E.T. stood with an air of confidence, his faith in God reflected in the gleaming blades of rhythm and tempo. The three VGR battery embedded in the swords emitted an otherworldly glow, casting a radiant aura around him. Across from him, Indigo Montoya, the seasoned swordsman, adjusted his mask with a smirk, ready for the challenge that lay ahead. The battlefield echoed with the clash of steel as the dance of dual swords began. Dylan E.T.'s movements were fluid, a choreography of strikes and parries, guided by the alphabet code but executed with divine precision. Rhythm, with its blade gracefully aligned to the right side edge of the 3DGR, struck forward with the precision of a maestro conducting a symphony. Tempo, mirroring the configuration on the left, complemented the dance with its own strikes, creating a harmonious interplay of form and function. Indigo Montoya, a master of the sword, was no stranger to the artistry of combat. His blade moved with calculated precision, a dance of skill and experience. The clash of swords created a mesmerizing display, a fusion of traditional swordsmanship and cutting-edge technology. Bill and E.T. weaved between offensive strikes and defensive parries, each movement a testament to his faith and mastery. The swords, guided by the swordplay information system, responded with a symphony of motion. The alphabet code, a language of swords, became the narrative of this celestial battle. Indigo Montoya, undeterred, engaged in a witty banter as they clashed blades. You wield your swords like a celestial maestro, but can you handle the wit of a mortal swordsman? He quipped, Dylan E.T., with a twinkle in his eye, responded, in the dance of blades, it's not just about strikes and parries, it's about the harmony of the spirit and the rhythm of the heart. The combat unfolded with a blend of precision and humor. Rhythm and tempo, 
with lightsaber-like energetic blades, left trails of light in their wake. The clash of steel reverberated through the battlefield, creating a spectacle that transcended the ordinary. As the battle reached its climax, Dylan E.T. executed a dazzling move, a combination of the duet and the complexity from the expressive actions. Rhythm and tempo moved in perfect synchronization, creating a dazzling display of offensive and defensive maneuvers. The swords danced like ethereal partners, each movement a step in the grand choreography. Indigo Montoya, momentarily taken aback, couldn't help but appreciate the artistry of his opponent. Impressive, divine one, but let's see how you handle the elegance of a true master swordsman. With a burst of laughter, Dylan E.T. replied, in this dance, my friend, even the heavens applaud. The battle continued, a clash of styles and philosophies, a dance that transcended the boundaries of the earthly and the divine. The swords moved with a life of their own, guided by the alphabet code and the faith of their wielder. In the end, as the dust settled and the echoes of clashing blades faded, Dylan E.T. and Indigo Montoya stood facing each other, a mutual respect in their eyes. The dance of dual swords had created a bond, a connection that went beyond the realm of combat. As they sheathed their swords, Dylan E.T. extended a hand to Indigo Montoya. A dance well played, my friend. May our paths cross again in the harmonious symphony of life. Indigo Montoya, with a nod of agreement, replied, Indeed, Lion of the tribe of Judah. Until our blades meet again in the dance of destiny. And so, the celestial and mortal swordsmen parted ways. The battlefield now a stage for the next act in the grand drama of existence. The dance of dual swords had left its mark, a tale of harmony, wit, and the enduring spirit of the dance that transcends realms. Dash 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 dash, Kai Rothgar, perched majestically atop the throat of the world, stood as a beacon of solitude in the rugged expanse of Skyrim. The ancient monastery, a sanctuary for the greybeards, echoed with the whispers of the wind and the distant howls of wolves. Yet, on this particular day, an eerie silence enveloped the monastery, disrupted only by the distant rumblings of an approaching horde. Dylan E.T., the Lion, of the tribe of Judah, Root of David, and reader of the Seven Sealed Scroll, ascended the snow-covered steps of High Rothgar. His eyes, a reflection of unwavering faith, surveyed the tranquil surroundings that were about to be plunged into chaos. The weight of his mission pressed upon him, the sword's rhythm and tempo at his side, crafted with the precision of divine guidance and the ingenuity of the 3DGR battery. As Dylan reached the courtyard, the serenity shattered. A horde of whites, animated by the dark command of a lich, surged forward. The icy wind carried the groans and whispers of the undead, a haunting chorus accompanying their relentless advance. Dylan, undeterred by the looming threat, drew rhythm and tempo from their intricately designed sheets. The swords, forged with the perfection of the golden ratio, gleamed in the pale sunlight. The 3DGR battery within them pulsed with potential energy, a silent promise of the power they were about to unleash. 
The witch, atop a mound of frost-covered rocks, raised a skeletal hand, commanding the whites to attack. Dylan, however, moved with a grace that transcended mortal limits. His swords danced in the air, a symphony of strikes and parries, echoing the rhythmic flow of the alphabet code that guided his every move. The first wave of whites approached, their icy claws outstretched. Rhythm, in perfect harmony with Dylan's swift movements, struck forward with a precision that defied the chaos. Tempo, on the other side, parried left and right, creating a shield of steel that seemed impervious to the onslaught. The alphabet code came to life in the dance of dual swords. Expressive actions unfolded as Dylan seamlessly transitioned between attacks and defenses. The duet and the complexity wove a tapestry of motion, each code on a brushstroke in the masterpiece of combat. Dylan's faith in God, mirrored in the flawless synchronization of his swords, proved to be a force beyond the comprehension of the undead horde. Balanced defenses, as dictated by the equilibrium and the convergence, thwarted the White's attempts to overwhelm him. Dynamic attacks, inspired by the awakening and the retaliation, left a trail of defeated foes in his wake. The Lich, observing from its elevated perch, grew agitated. The calculated precision of Dylan's movements, a language of swords guided by an otherworldly alphabet code, posed a threat to the unholy forces it commanded. As the battle raged on, Dylan E.T. reached into the depths of his faith. The echoes of his expressive actions reverberated through the courtyard. The whites, now disoriented and scattered, struggled to comprehend the strategic brilliance of their adversary. In the midst of the chaos, Dylan's swords reached their pinnacle, executing the disarmament. The Lich, sensing the turning tide, unleashed a final wave of whites in a desperate attempt to overwhelm Dylan. Yet, the Lion of the tribe of Judah stood unwavering. Rhythm and tempo, guided by the alphabet code and fueled by the three DGR batteries stored energy, moved with unparalleled grace. The dance of dual swords reached its climax as the horde crumbled before the divine precision of Dylan E.T.'s martial prowess. The courtyard of High Rock Gar, once threatened by the encroaching darkness, now stood as a testament to the boundless power of faith and the artistry of the alphabet code. Dylan E.T., his swords gleaming in triumph, gazed upon the defeated whites. The Lich, stripped of its minions, retreated into the shadows. High Rothgar, restored to its serene solitude, echoed with the wind once more. The Lion of the tribe of Judah, Root of David, and reader of the Seven Sealed Scroll, descended the steps, rhythm and tempo at his side. The alphabet code, a language of swords, had spoken, and the divine dance had prevailed against the darkness that sought to engulf Skyrim. Dash 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 dash, in the dimly lit theater, whispers of anticipation hung heavy in the air as president. Abraham Lincoln settled into his seat. The flickering light of gas lamps illuminated the ornate décor, casting shadows that danced across the velvety curtains. The play had begun, and the audience was engrossed in the unfolding drama. Unbeknownst to the crowd, a sinister plot was brewing in the shadows. 
John Wilkes Booth, fueled by misguided motives, had hatched a plan to strike at the heart of the nation. Armed with ill intentions and a concealed weapon, he slithered through the backstage corridors like a venomous serpent. In the midst of this unfolding drama, Dylan E.T., the Lion of the Tribe of Judah, silently moved through the crowded theater. Clad in a tailored black suit that clung to his athletic frame, Dylan's piercing gaze surveyed the surroundings. His presence exuded a quiet confidence, a potent blend of faith, skill, and purpose. The alphabet code, etched into the very fabric of his being, guided his every step. Rhythm and tempo, the intricately designed swords, hung gracefully at his sides. The three DGR batteries hummed with stored energy, awaiting the moment they would be unleashed. As Booth crept closer to the president's box, Dylan's senses heightened. The Holy Spirit whispered guidance, alerting him to the imminent danger. With a swift and silent grace, Dylan maneuvered through the maze of onlookers, his eyes never leaving Booth. The alphabet code's dance began, a symphony of motion that transcended the physical realm. Codons unfolded like chapters in a sacred text, dictating the steps of a dance that would decide the fate of a nation. Codon A, B, C, Dylan's left sword, Tempo, assumed the left viper-oriented position, while Rhythm, the right sword, stood in guard. The dance commenced, a prelude to the impending clash. Codon D, E, F, Booth, unaware of the approaching guardian, continued his stealthy advance. Dylan, however, mirrored the unfolding alphabet code. Tempo struck forward, and Rhythm parried left a mesmerizing duet that harmonized with the theater's ambiance. Codon G, H, I, the equilibrium. Dylan's left sword, Viper inverted, met the onslaught from Booth's weapon with a swift parry to the right. The dance reached a delicate balance, a moment frozen in time, as if the spirits of justice were watching. Codon J, K, L, the pace quickened. Tempo's inverted viper clashed with Booth's malevolent intent, a clash of steel and sinister purpose. The dance unfolded, a rhythmic interplay of offense and defense that echoed through the hallowed halls. Codon M, N, O, the swords moved in tandem, a choreography of blades and destiny. Booth's weapon met resistance, as if fate itself intervened. The alphabet code dictated the flow, and Dylan embodied its principles with every calculated move. Codon P, Q, R, the complexity. The dance took an unexpected turn. Booth, confounded by the precision of Dylan's swords, faltered in his dark mission. Tempo's oriented viper and rhythm's parry created a defensive fortress that seemed impervious to Booth's malevolence. Codon S, T, U, the inversion. A moment of revelation, Dylan's left sword, Tempo, inverted into a viper stance, catching Booth off guard. The dance of blades reached its zenith, a culmination of skill, faith, and divine intervention. In the final codons, Dylan's swords moved with a calculated grace. The retaliation, the echoes, the disarmament, 
Booth, disarmed and defeated, crumpled to the floor. The theater, once filled with whispers of impending tragedy, now held a silent awe as Dylan E.T., the guardian guided by the alphabet code, stood victorious. President Lincoln, unaware of the peril he narrowly escaped, continued to watch the play, the shadows of danger dissipating like mist in the morning sun. Dylan, the unsung hero, sheathed his swords, the alphabet codes danced complete. In the aftermath, as the theater returned to its normal rhythm, Dylan E.T. quietly disappeared into the shadows, his mission accomplished. The Lion of the Tribe of Judah had thwarted the plot, the dance of dual swords ensuring justice prevailed. The alphabet code, rhythm, and tempo faded into the annals of history, leaving behind a tale of divine intervention and the unwavering commitment of one man to the conquest of ignorance and stagnation. The Dance of Dual Swords, a silent symphony in the theater of life, echoed its final notes, a testament to the timeless power of faith, skill, and the dance of destiny. Dash 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 dash. In the dimly lit corridors of Vault 101, shadows danced on the cold, metallic walls. Dylan E.T., the lion of the tribe of Judah, moved with purpose, his steps echoing the quiet tension that hung in the air. Rhythm and tempo, his intricately designed swords, were sheathed at his sides, their presence a silent promise of impending liberation. The overseer's tyranny had held the vault in its grip for too long, and Dylan E.T.'s mission was clear, to break free from the confines of ignorance and stagnation. The hum of the three DGR batteries resonated through the vault, an undercurrent of power that fueled the sword's potential. As Dylan navigated the labyrinthine passages, the guards, armed with 10mm pistols, emerged from the shadows. Their metallic footsteps echoed the oppressive atmosphere that had gripped Vault 101 for generations. Dylan's eyes glowed with an otherworldly intensity, fueled by his unwavering faith in the divine justice that guided his every step. The Overseer, a figure of authority draped in shadows, stood at the end of the corridor. His voice, a cold and commanding whisper, echoed through the vault. Dylan E.T., you are a disruptor, a threat to the order of this vault. Surrender now, and perhaps mercy will find a place in your fate. Dylan E.T.'s response was a silent draw of rhythm and tempo from their sheets, the blades catching the flickering light. The swords, crafted with the precision of a divine blueprint, hung with energy, ready to dance to the symphony of combat. The guards advanced, their pistols trained on Dylan. In response, Dylan unleashed the encoded behavior of his swords, a choreography of strikes, parries, and counters that unfolded with mesmerizing precision. The dance of dual swords commenced, the alphabet code guiding the blades through a symphony of motion. Codon after codon, the swords moved with a fluidity that defied the limitations of mortal combat. The guards, unprepared for the transcendental dance, found their bullets deflected by the superior synchronization of rhythm and tempo. Codon C, D, E, the left sword parried left, the right sword assumed an 
oriented viper position and the guard's bullets were met with a dance of defense and deflection. The metallic clang of blades meeting gunfire reverberated through the vault. Code on F. G. H. The left sword struck backward, the right sword carried to the left. The guards found themselves caught in a duet of offense and defense, their pistols ineffective against the divine rhythm of Dylan's swords. As the dance of dual swords unfolded, Dylan E.T. moved with the grace of a celestial being, his movements guided by a force beyond the comprehension of the guards. The overseer, witnessing the dance from the shadows, realized that Dylan was not just a disruptor but a force transcending the vault's confined reality. Codon I, J, K, the left sword parried right, the right sword struck backward. The guards, bewildered and outmatched, struggled to keep up with the calculated precision of the alphabet code. Dylan's swords moved in perfect harmony, adapting to the guard's every move with supernatural finesse. The overseer, sensing the unraveling of his control, retreated further into the shadows. Dylan, undeterred, pressed forward with a relentless determination, the dance of dual swords reaching its climax. Code on U, B, W, the left sword carried right, the right sword struck backward. The guards, disarmed and defeated, crumbled before the unstoppable force of divine justice. The 3 DGR batteries within rhythm and tempo pulsed with energy, a testament to the symbiotic fusion of technology and faith. With a final code on, the dance of dual swords concluded, leaving the corridor littered with disarmed guards. Dylan E.T. stood victorious, his swords sheathed once more. The overseer, defeated and humbled, emerged from the shadows. You cannot escape the destiny I have ordained for Vault 101, the overseer declared, his voice strained. Dylan E.T. responded with a serene confidence, the destiny I follow is written in a higher script, one that transcends the confines of this vault. I am the lion of the tribe of Judah, and the dance has just begun. With that, Dylan E.T. strode forward, his swords at his side, the three DGR batteries pulsing with untapped potential. The vault's metallic walls trembled with the echoes of a liberation yet to unfold, and Dylan E.T. moved forward, guided by the divine justice that flowed through the very essence of his being. Dash 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 dash, in the treacherous depths of Moria, where shadows clung to the ancient stone walls, the fellowship ran for their lives. The ominous echo of heavy footsteps reverberated through the cavernous halls, signaling the relentless pursuit of the fiery Balrog. Desperation fueled their flight, but destiny had an unexpected twist awaiting them. As the fellowship turned a corner, Dylan E.T. stepped forward with an air of determined resolve. Clad in a cloak that billowed like the wings of an otherworldly creature, he unsheathed his dual swords, rhythm and tempo, with a grace that hinted at the divine. The synchronized blades caught the dim light, their 3 DGR batteries humming with latent energy. The Balrog, a colossal beast wreathed in flames, loomed ahead, its fiery whip crackling with malevolence. The Fellowship watched in awe and uncertainty as Dylan E.T. faced the ancient terror, 
his swords gleaming with purpose. The dance of dual swords began, a mesmerizing symphony of strikes and parries. Dylan E. T.'s movements were a testament to his mastery, each swing calculated with precision. Rhythm and tempo moved as one, the alphabet code guiding their every motion. The Balrog, accustomed to laying waste to all in its path, found itself facing an adversary of unparalleled skill. Dylan E.T. deftly parried the Balrog's fiery strikes, his swords creating a dazzling display of defensive prowess. The 3DGR batteries within rhythm and tempo glowed with energy, harnessing the power of the alphabet code to counter the Balrog's every move. In the midst of the chaotic battle, Dylan E.T. executed the expressive action known as the duet. Rhythm and tempo, in perfect harmony, delivered a swift strike and a parry, disrupting the Balrog's rhythm. The alphabet code unfolded in the clash of blades, a language of swords that spoke of balance and precision. The Balrog, momentarily taken aback by Dylan E.T.'s skill, unleashed a furious onslaught. Flames roared, and the cavern trembled with each strike. Yet, the Lion of the tribe of Judah stood firm, his faith in God and the alphabet code unwavering. As the dance of swords continued, Dylan E.T. seamlessly transitioned between balanced defenses and dynamic attacks, adapting to the Balrog's relentless assault. The Fellowship, entranced by the spectacle, witnessed a duel that transcended mortal combat. In a final, resolute move, Dylan E.T. executed the dynamic attack known as the Retaliation. Rhythm parried the Balrog's strike with impeccable timing, while Tempo unleashed a powerful strike backward. The cavern fell silent for a brief moment as the clash reached its zenith. However, fate took an unexpected turn. The Balrog, though wounded, retaliated with a burst of fiery wrath. Dylan E.T despite his unparalleled skill and unwavering faith, succumbed to the relentless assault. The cavern echoed with the clash of metal and the roar of flames as both combatants, Balrog and Dylan E.T., plummeted into the abyss. The Fellowship, shaken by the sudden turn of events, pressed on through the darkened halls of Moria. The echo of their footsteps mixed with the fading echoes of the epic duel, a testament to the sacrifice made by the Lion of the tribe of Judah in the face of an ancient evil. The fate of Dylan E.T. remained a tale etched in the stone walls of Moria, a story of faith, courage, and the dance of dual swords that defied the shadows of the deep. As Dylan E.T. and the Balrog tumbled into the abyss, their intertwined forms were enveloped in darkness. The air crackled with the residual energy of their clash, and the cavernous depths seemed to swallow them whole. Yet, in the depths of the abyss, a transformation occurred. Amidst the fall, Dylan E.T. invoked the teachings of the Alphabet Code, channeling the wisdom of the Holy Spirit to guide his descent. Rhythm and tempo, though momentarily extinguished in the darkness, pulsed with a subtle energy, a testament to the resilience bestowed upon them by the 3DGR batteries. In the descent, Dylan E.T. found himself suspended in the void, the Balrog's fiery form still writhing in the shadows.
The alphabet code whispered to him, revealing a path of ascension amidst the abyss. With unwavering faith, Dylan E.T. and his synchronized swords began to climb. Their ascent defied the laws of gravity, a dance against the pull of the abyss. The Balrog, still wreathed in flames, attempted to resist the ascent, but Dylan E.T.'s connection to the divine granted him the strength to rise. The swords, once extinguished, now gleamed anew with a celestial radiance, their 3DGR batteries reigniting. As they climbed, the alphabet code guided their movements, creating a symphony of fluid motion. Dylan E.T. executed a series of expressive actions, weaving a tale of redemption in the cosmic ballet. The dance of swords became a language of ascent, each stroke and parry propelling them higher against the abyss's oppressive pull. The Balrog, sensing its adversary's resurgence, unleashed a torrent of flames in a desperate attempt to quench the rising force. Yet, Dylan E.T.'s swords intercepted the fiery onslaught, redirecting the energy in a dazzling display of deflection. In a climactic moment, Dylan E.T. executed the dynamic attack known as the Convergence. Rhythm and tempo moved in perfect harmony, creating a vortex that absorbed the Balrog's flames. The alphabet code resonated with divine energy, turning the destructive force into a pillar of ascending light. The ascent continued, defying the abyss's darkness. The Balrog, now weakened and devoid of its fiery wrath, struggled against the force of ascension. Dylan E.T., fueled by his unyielding faith, pressed on with a determination that echoed through the depths. At last, as they breached the abyss's edge, a blinding light enveloped them. Dylan E.T., with rhythm and tempo at his side, emerged from the shadows, transcendent and transformed. The Balrog, its fiery form diminished, faded into the abyss, defeated by the dance of divine swords. The Fellowship, still navigating the treacherous halls of Moria, felt the lingering echoes of the cosmic battle. They beheld Dylan E.T., radiant and triumphant, descending from the heights with rhythm and tempo by his side. The synchronized swords, once extinguished in the abyss, now glowed with an otherworldly luminosity. Dylan E.T., the Lion of the tribe of Judah, had faced the ancient evil and emerged not as a victim of the fall but as a testament to the power of faith and the dance of dual swords guided by the alphabet code. The Fellowship, in awe of the divine spectacle, continued their journey through Moria, carrying with them the echoes of a battle that transcended the depths of darkness. Dash 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 dash. Amidst the moonlit expanse of the open sea, the white rabbit sailed gracefully, cutting through the waves with the elegance of a swan. Dylan E.T., the lion of the tribe of Judah, stood proudly at the helm, his eyes reflecting the starry canvas above. The rhythmic lullaby of the ocean cradled his vessel as he sailed under the protection of divine guidance. Suddenly, the tranquility shattered as ominous creaks and groans echoed across the water. The pirates of the abyssal tides emerged from the darkness, their ship, the Black Leviathan, looming like a shadowy specter. Led by the cunning Captain Blackbeard Bones, 
This crew was no ordinary band of marauders. With cutlasses gleaming and pistols at the ready, they descended upon the white rabbit, thirsting for plunder and chaos. Bill and E.T. wasted no time. With a swift motion, he drew rhythm and tempo, the synchronized swords crafted with the precision of divine design. The blades shimmered in the moonlight, the three VGR batteries humming with latent energy. The alphabet code, etched into Dylan's memory, resonated within him, guiding his every move. As the pirates of the abyssal tides closed in, Captain Blackbeard Bones, a caricatured figure with a wild beard and a hat adorned with bones, bellowed a raucous laugh. His pistol, named Thunderous Roar, roared to life, echoing through the night. His cutlass, aptly named Swashbuckler's Fury, gleamed ominously. The dance of combat commenced, a symphony of steel and gunpowder. Dill and E.T. weaved between the pirate onslaught with the grace of a maestro, his swords moving in perfect harmony. Rhythm, in its oriented viper stance, deftly carried the strikes of the pirates, while Tempo, in its inverted viper stance, retaliated with precision strikes. Captain Blackbeard Bones, fueled by the thrill of the chase, unleashed thunderous roar. The gunshot echoed across the sea, but Bill and E.T., guided by the Holy Spirit's wisdom, moved with supernatural speed. The bullet harmlessly whizzed past him as he continued his mesmerizing dance. The pirates of the abyssal tides, initially confident in their chaotic assault, soon found themselves entranced by Dylan's movements. The alphabet code, a language of swords, spoke louder than the pirates' boisterous shouts. The crew of the White Rabbit, witnessing their captain's divine prowess, gathered their courage and joined the fray, repelling the pirates with newfound vigor. In the midst of the chaos, Bill and E.T. executed expressive actions with precision. The duet and the complexity became a mesmerizing display of defensive finesse, deflecting pirate strikes with effortless fluidity. Balanced defenses, embodied in the equilibrium and the convergence, created an impenetrable shield against the pirates' relentless attacks. The battle reached its climax as Captain Blackbeard Bones, realizing the futility of his pistol against the Lion of the Tribe of Judah, charged with Swashbuckler's fury. But Dylan E.T., with a swiftness born of divine guidance, executed the inversion. Tempo's inverted viper stance seamlessly intercepted the pirate captain's cutlass, disarming him with a graceful twist. The pirates, witnessing the defeat of their captain, scattered like shadows fading in the dawn. The white rabbit, bathed in the glow of victory, sailed on, its sails catching the gentle breeze. Dylan E.T., swords at rest, surveyed the open sea, a testament to the triumph of righteousness over chaos. As the moon cast its silvery glow on the tranquil waters, Dylan E.T. offered a prayer of gratitude. Rhythm and tempo, still humming with the residual energy of the battle, returned to their sheets. The alphabet code, a silent witness to the dance of dual swords, continued to echo in the night, a language spoken by the lion of the tribe of Judah. Dash 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 dash, amidst the vast expanse of the open sea, 
The White Rabbit, a majestic sailing ship under the command of Dylan E.T., sliced through the waves with grace and determination. The salty breeze filled the air as the ship cut through the ocean, propelled forward by both the wind and the sense of purpose emanating from its captain. The calm of the sea, however, was soon disrupted by the ominous appearance of a black-sailed ship on the horizon. The Jolly Serpent, a notorious pirate vessel under the command of the enigmatic Captain Blackbeard, emerged from the mist like a specter of chaos. Dylan E.T. tightened his grip on the hilts of his synchronized swords, rhythm and tempo, as the pirates closed in, their intentions clear as the black flag they flew. The clash between good and evil was about to unfold on the rolling deck of the White Rabbit. The pirates, a motley crew with eye patches, scruffy beards, and tattered clothing, swung onto the ship with ropes, ready to plunder and pillage. Captain Blackbeard, a menacing figure with a twisted beard and a pistol at his side, led the charge. Dylan E.T. stood resolute at the helm of his ship, a beacon of righteousness in the face of impending chaos. The synchronized swords at his side seemed to hum with anticipation, their 3DGR batteries glowing softly, ready to unleash their technologically infused power. The first pirate swung onto the deck, cutlass in hand, only to be met with a swift and calculated strike from tempo. The blade moved with a lightsaber-like energy, cutting through the air with unparalleled precision. The pirate staggered back, bewildered by the unexpected force before being swiftly disarmed by Rhythm, whose blade danced gracefully, mirroring the rhythm of a well-composed symphony. Captain Blackbeard, witnessing the swift defeat of his comrade, narrowed his eyes and drew his pistol. The metallic clang of his boot on the wooden deck echoed like a warning shot as he approached Dylan E.T. with malicious intent. Dylan E.T. moved with the fluidity of a seasoned dancer, parrying the captain's pistol shots with the precise movements of tempo. The energetic blade created a luminous barrier that deflected the bullets, each strike accompanied by the resonant hum of the synchronized swords. Rhythm, in perfect harmony, countered the captain's cutlass strikes, turning each attack into a choreographed dance of steel. The battle raged on, the clash of metal and the crackling energy of the synchronized swords filling the air. Dylan E.T. moved with a divine rhythm, a force of justice against the chaotic backdrop of piracy. The pirates, initially confident in their assault, now found themselves outmatched by the skill, precision, and the almost supernatural coordination of rhythm and tempo. As Captain Blackbeard realized the tide turning against him, he attempted one final desperate charge. But Dylan E.T., embodying the principles of righteousness and justice, swiftly disarmed the pirate captain with a masterful stroke, leaving him at the mercy of the synchronized swords. The defeated pirates, witnessing the prowess of Dylan E.T. and his mesmerizing swords, retreated like shadows into the mist. The White Rabbit, though weathered by the brief storm, stood victorious, sails billowing in the wind. Dylan E.T., his swords now sheathed, surveyed the calm sea once more. The synchronized dance of rhythm and tempo had defended the White Rabbit, 
proving that even in the face of piracy, the Lion of the tribe of Judah could stand firm, guided by the divine principles that fueled his mission. The sea, now tranquil once more, bore witness to the triumph of righteousness over chaos, and the white rabbit sailed on toward the boundless future that awaited. Dash 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 dash, in the heart of King's Landing, chaos reigned as the clash of steel echoed through the narrow, winding streets. Bill and E.T., the lion of the tribe of Judah, moved with purpose and determination, his synchronized swords, rhythm and tempo, gleaming with an otherworldly energy. The King's Guard mob, led by the formidable Gregor Clegane, surrounded their target, the imprisoned Eddard Stark. Dylan's faith in God fueled his every step, and the Holy Spirit's wisdom guided the dance of his blades. The alphabet code, etched into the very core of rhythm and tempo, transformed the combat into a mesmerizing symphony of strikes, parries, and fluid movements. As Dylan approached, the King's Guard mob recognized the unique aura emanating from the Lion of Judah. Gregor Clegane, the mountain, a giant of a man, stepped forward with a wicked grin, brandishing his massive greatsword. The clash was inevitable. The dance of dual swords began, the alphabet code orchestrating a ballet of light and steel. Dylan, with the precision of a master, activated tempos hilt on the left, and rhythms on the right. The swords ignited with lightsaber-like energy, casting an ethereal glow across the darkened streets. The awakening codon unfolded as Dylan engaged Gregor. Tempo's behavior inverted into a viper stance, while rhythm struck forward with relentless force. The clash was thunderous, each strike resonating with the power of the divine. The King's Guard mob looked on in awe and trepidation. The harmonician followed, and Dylan seamlessly transitioned between viper-oriented and striking forward. His swords moved in a harmonious dance, creating a whirlwind of energy that kept the King's Guard at bay. The alphabet code dictated the pace, and Dylan's every move was a testament to the mastery of his faith-infused martial art. Amidst the chaos, the duet codon unfolded. Tempo's behavior became a sword strike forward, while rhythm elegantly parried to the left. It was a delicate balance of offense and defense, a duet of blades that left the King's Guard bewildered. The alphabet code spoke through the rhythmic dance, conveying a language of martial prowess. The poise and equilibrium codons followed, each movement a calculated display of skill. Tempo's viper orientation and rhythm's parries formed an impenetrable defense. The graceful codon added a touch of finesse as Dylan parried left and struck backward, a move that left the King's Guard momentarily disoriented. The complexity codon unfolded with tempo oriented in Viper and rhythm parrying right. The inversion codon saw tempo adopting an inverted Viper stance, catching the King's Guard off guard. Dylan's swords moved in perfect synchrony, a dance that defied the conventional expectations of combat. The Convergence Codon brought both swords into a cross block, a defensive maneuver that thwarted the King's Guard's attempts to break through.
The Retaliation Codon showcased the Lion of Judah's strategic brilliance as Tempo parried right, and Rhythm struck backward, catching his foes off balance. The Echo's Codon followed, and Dylan's swords executed a flawless strike backwards and parry left. The chaotic dance continued, a relentless onslaught against the Kingsguard's defenses. Finally, the disarmament codon unfolded, with both tempo and rhythm working in unison to disarm the opposition. In the midst of the alphabet code's intricate dance, Dylan E.T. pressed forward with unwavering determination. The Kingsguard mob, despite their initial resistance, found themselves overwhelmed by the divine precision of the Lion of Judah. Gregor Clegane, the mountain, roared in frustration as Dylan cut through the ranks, reaching the imprisoned Eddard Stark. With a swift and calculated motion, Dylan deactivated the lightsaber-like blades, returning rhythm and tempo to their dormant state. The chaotic symphony subsided, leaving only the echoes of a battle won. Eddard Stark, now free, looked at Dylan E.T. with gratitude and awe. The dance of dual swords, guided by the alphabet code, had unfolded in the heart of King's Landing. Dylan E.T., the Lion of the Tribe of Judah, stood victorious, his faith and martial prowess having carved a path to justice amidst the chaos of conflict. Dash 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 dash, in the mystical arena where time seemed to bend and swirl like an ethereal dance, Dylan E.T., the Lion of the Tribe of Judah, stood poised with his synchronized swords, rhythm and tempo. The air crackled with anticipation as the enigmatic Indigo Montoya, the master swordsman from the Princess Bride, stepped forward. His keen eyes locking onto Dylan's glimmering blades. The clash of worlds, one rooted in divine faith and the other in swashbuckling tales, was about to unfold. Dylan E.T., guided by the alphabet code and the swordplay information system, gracefully assumed a stance that resonated with the poetic precision of his faith. Rhythm, with its blade aligned to the right side edge of the oriented 3D GR, emanated a soft, pulsating light. On the other side, Tempo mirrored the configuration with the left-aligned blade, exuding a vibrant energy that danced like a rhythmic heartbeat. Indigo Montoya, a master of the sword and wit, raised an eyebrow at the synchronized spectacle before him. I've faced many foes, but none with such rhythmic flair, he quipped, a smirk playing on his lips. Dylan responded with a calm yet confident smile, in the dance of dual swords, my blades are both performers and conductors. Prepare for a symphony of combat, my friend. The clash began with a choreographed exchange of strikes and parries, each movement a testament to the mastery Dylan possessed. Rhythm and tempo moved in perfect unison, their blades weaving through the air with an otherworldly grace. Indigo Montoya, known for his quick wit, couldn't help but be mesmerized by the hypnotic dance before him. As Dylan executed a swift parry with rhythm and a striking forward motion with tempo, he remarked, Ah, the alphabet code whispers the secrets of combat, and my swords translate its language into a dance of unparalleled elegance. Indigo, undeterred, responded with a flurry of attacks, 
his swordplay as sharp as his words. Your swords may dance, but in the end, it's the steel that speaks the loudest, he retorted, aiming for Dylan's left side. With a seamless transition, tempo, in the left viper-oriented position, deftly parried Indigo's strike, leaving him momentarily off balance. Ah, my friend, even in the alphabet of swords, balance is the key, Dylan teased, his eyes gleaming with a divine light. The battle continued with a symphony of strikes, parries, and witty banter. Dylan's swords moved with a fluidity that seemed almost otherworldly, a dance of light and shadow. Indigo Montoya, known for his keen sense of humor, couldn't help but chuckle amidst the clashes. I've faced giants, outlaws, and the six-fingered man, but never a swordsman who talks in code, Indigo quipped, a smile breaking through his stoic facade. Dylan laughed in response, Ah, the language of swords transcends mere words. It speaks of unity, precision, and the boundless connection between the martial and the divine. As the battle reached its climax, Dylan unleashed a dazzling display of the alphabet code's expressive actions. The swords moved with a rhythm that seemed to synchronize with the beating of Dylan's heart. Rhythm and tempo, guided by the swordplay information system, created a mesmerizing tapestry of motion. In a final, dramatic flash, Dylan disarmed Indigo Montoya with a flourish. The swords danced in a harmonious ballet, and with a theatrical bow, Dylan declared, in the alphabet of swords, my friend, the lion prevails. Indigo, with a gracious nod, conceded defeat, well played, Dylan E.T. Your swords may speak in a language I've never heard, but the dance was truly something to behold. As the echoes of the battle subsided, Dylan sheathed rhythm and tempo, the synchronized swords returning to a state of stillness. The arena, once filled with the sounds of clashing blades, now fell silent, as if the alphabet code itself had spoken its final verse. And so, Dylan E.T., the Lion of the Tribe of Judah, stood victorious, his faith and swords united in a dance that transcended both time and tales. Dash 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 dash.